I've been getting a lot of questions about how to retrieve or change your Pi Network app password. I've also gotten a lot of questions about how to retrieve your password from the Pi Network browser. Assuming you've misplaced it. In this video, I'll show you how to retrieve or change your password in the Pi Network mining app, as well as how to reset your password in the Pi Network browser. If you fall into this category or simply want to learn how, this video is for you. If you're new to this channel and want to learn more about the crypto space and the Pi Network, I recommend subscribing to my channel and turning on the notification button. You will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded in this manner. Without wasting any more time. Sit back, relax, and grab a cup of coffee as I show you how to complete this task while keeping your mind safe. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll start with the Pi Network app. For those of you who are unfamiliar, the Pi Network has two apps, the Pi Network Mining app and the Pi Network Browser. Both are equal and important, and they work together, which means you can't have one without the other. If you haven't downloaded them yet or have only downloaded one, it is recommended that you do so now. The link to the download page is also included in the description below. Let's get down to business. Click on the Pi Network app from the home screen of your mobile app, then select the three stripe lines in the top left corner of the app. This will bring up the options menu. Scroll down and choose the profile option. Once the account profile is displayed, scroll down to password and then click update. This feature was not initially available to all pioneers, but it is now. Before I go any further, I want to emphasize that you must first verify your phone number that was used to register the Pi Network mining app after installing it. Now press the update button. The following page states that in order to update your password, you must first go through the phone number verification process by sending us an SMS. You will be logged out of all devices after creating the password and will need to log back in with a new password. I advise you to exercise caution. You will need the phone number associated with your Pi Mining app account to begin. Then choose your country of residence. Then, without the country code, you enter the phone number associated with the account. This is critical. After that, the phone number verification process will begin. Change nothing in the text of the SMS you will receive. Also, do not alter the phone number associated with the SMS. Send the message now. After that, the process of changing the password will begin. When attempting to complete the process, feel free to pulse the video to ensure adequate and precise steps in your own best interests. Do not omit. That concludes the Pi Network app. Let's get to the Pi Network browser, specifically the Pi Wallet. You must first download the Pi Network browser if you have not yet created the Pi Wallet. That is the only way to make the Pi Wallet. Locate and launch the Pi browser on your smartphone. Your screen should look like this when it loads. Click on the wallet to begin the process of retrieving your pass for your wallet. This will take you to the Pi Wallet's login screen. You're fine if you have or can remember your passcode. However, if you want to rake over your wallet pass, scroll down to the bottom and click on Reset Your Pass here. Please keep in mind that selecting this option will generate a new wallet and immediately cancel and delete the old wallet, as well as generate a new passcode. In addition, the newly created wallet will receive 100 test Pi. This credited Pi is not real, but it is only used for testing. You should exercise extreme caution if you have already migrated your mine Pi to the main net and have forgotten the passcode to log back in. Allow me to log in to demonstrate. I am one of many who have begun the process of connecting their mine Pi to the internet. As you can see, if you have begun the process of migrating your mine Pi to the Pi wallet, that is, if you have synchronized your wallet address with the main net, your wallet should look something like this, obviously with a different figure for mine. Before I go any further, I'd like to issue a strong warning. This warning is only for those who have already synchronized their wallet with the main net and have lost or forgotten their password. When you reset or recreate the wallet, you may lose your migrated Pi. The reason for this is that there is no indication that the migrated Pi will return with a newly created wallet. Let's take a closer look. When you configure your wallet for migration, you are asked to synchronize it with the main net. This means that the blockchain has captured and registered your wallet hash and identity number, making it unique to you. 
when you decide to recreate another wallet because you forgot your password, the blockchain must synchronize with the newly created wallet hash and identity number. It stands to reason that the old wallet will be deleted along with the contents. In this case, it is the previously migrated Pi. As a result, a newly created wallet is immediately credited with a new set of test B. Don't misunderstand me. The Pi Network core team has created a program that will detect this and transfer your balance from the old wallet to the new wallet. Remember that this process involves not only resetting the passcode, but also recreating the wallet from the ground up in order to generate a new passcode. So be cautious. I'll use this opportunity to show you the new Pi wallet interface and explain the balances you'll see after migrating to the main net. When you launch the wallet, the migrated Pi will be displayed, along with a history of how the transfer was completed. What you see in my wallet now is a portion of my mine Pi that has been migrated to the main net. This does not include all of my and my team members' Pi's. My wallet will continue to be credited with more Pi as members of my team submit and pass their KYC, and more Pi that I personally mined after the migration will also populate the wallet. If you need to receive Pi from someone or a merchant, simply click on Receive and you will be taken to a page where you can either copy the wallet public key and send it to the sender or click on Share to activate the Share function on your mobile phone. This gives you more options for sending the wallet's public key. If, on the other hand, you need to send Pi to someone, simply click Send and the next page will look like this, where you must enter the correct receiver's public wallet address. The following column is for the quantity of Pi you intend to send out. The fee is still 001 at the time of recording this video. There is no word on whether the transaction fee will change or stay the same. I strongly believe it should remain this way. When you're finished, click Send. The figures you see on the transaction history will be explained next. The first transaction is 300 and 836. This is the lockup Pi based on the configuration I chose during the lockup. You can watch a video I made about how to lock up Pi before mainnet to learn more about it. Before migrating my Pi, I chose and configured a 25% lockup. That means the 300 and 836 Pi account for 25% of my total Pi migrated. It is critical to understand that this is not the entire 25%, but rather 25% of 1233. As more Pi is migrated to my wallet, 25% of it will be transferred as lockup which means I will not be able to transact with that amount until the period selected elapses. Following that is my current available balance, which is 9,240. This is the remaining 75% of my migrated Pi. This is the actual amount of Pi that I am permitted to transact while the main net is open. I hope you found this video useful, and if so, please consider sharing it with others and giving it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section and I will respond as soon as possible. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so by clicking the subscription button and pressing the notification bell. After all, it's free, and it helps my channel, which helps me provide more value to you. Continue mining.